you before here on the show that selling royals is big business and we're talking very big business because if you use a royal in any sort of sphere of entertainment whether that be inviting them or indeed feature them in the product it tends to rate or sell very well if you remember a few years back Helen Mirren had a spectacular success portraying the Queen, not just on that TV drama, but on the West End stage too. You know, the one where she had conversations with her Prime Ministers. Fascinating stuff. Of course, it's all drama, and we have to take everything with a pinch of salt. But now, in October, we can look forward to a brand new show focusing, this time on a very strong royal associate, one that really does go down in the annals of history, simply because he was so outrageous, so forceful, and many people felt more in control of the late senior royal than many other people suspected. As ever, who are we talking about? Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you. Yes, now this particular servant, and I use that term loosely, this was an era before servants really became media personalities. I think that really took off in the Princess Diana era, you know, with her security guard, people like Ken Wolfe, and of course the royal tray carrier, Paul Burrell, you know, they made careers out of that media association. But this guy, Billy Tallon, was the man who was truly devoted to the late Queen Mother by her side through so many instances and apparently was able to take everything with a pinch of salt from him. Now what's interesting now is that there's going to be a brand new West End comedy uh, appearing from October at the Duke of York's Theatre, no less, the irony, eh? And it's going to be starring a Downton Abbey icon, Penelope Wilton. Yes, Isabel Crawley. Uh, now, what's interesting here is that it could be rather conflicting for uh, the Princess of Wales. As we know, she's a dedicated Downton fan, even visiting the set at Elstree uh, under the tutelage, of course, of Julian Fellows. She loves the show, as does Prince William. But this show, as I say, is a bit of a tongue-in-cheek venture. Looks quite amusing, but of course, you know, there's a sting in the tail with all of these things. The brilliant singer and actor Luke Evans is taking on the part of Backstairs Billy, Billy Talon. And what's interesting here is, as I say, it's supposed to be rewriting the story about exactly the relationship between the servant and the late Queen Mother. Billy's sort of demise really was quite sad in a sense because once, uh, you know, the Queen Mother had passed away, he was very quickly and swiftly removed out of royal duties and uh, sort of finished his days basically living in a small flat in South London not, of course, in the luxury that he'd become accustomed to for so many years. A lot of people who were working alongside him in service were not very kind. I met Billy very briefly. I didn't realise who he was, in fact, uh, when we first got talking, but then he was very, very, shall we say, out there, to say the least. What was interesting about this particular story is, as I say, it's going to throw a new light on exactly the relationship. And this is based on the fact that Billy was writing a book and was dictating lots of information to said writers about his life and times. But with all of these things, you have to take them with a huge pinch of salt. But more importantly, as I say, they are hoping that Penelope Wilton, the Downton Abbey Queen herself, will be able to draw in the crowds playing the Queen Mother live on stage every night, revealing exactly what it was like for her and Backstairs Billy. Is this something that would appeal to you? As ever, do let me know in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.